Some of you guys that go wheeling that are in the trucks probably wonder how the mega hauler tows. So dash cam says we're doing 53. We're going up fancy gap. It's about a 7% grade if I remember right. It's about seven miles long. The speed is wrong on that edge monitor, but had a good run. I was probably going to come up this in fifth gear a little faster, but a truck cut me off. But this is about how it goes right now. 45, 50 miles an hour. Um, just chugging along. I know it's loud in here. This thing is working. Man. Getting the workout. What? What? We can't hear you. <laughs> yeah, we're just rolling along. Chugging the hills, the mega hauler does quite well since putting the EFI live on there. Shout out to uh, Pure Diesel Adam over there in Kernersville, North Carolina, got this thing working real good. Finally, fifth gear. So that right there is the highest trans temp I've ever seen. And I just crested the hill, so that coolant temp's gonna go down. We we never got below 50 miles an hour the whole time, which is just incredible because uh, I used to make this trip with an even lighter load, and it would just peg 235 before I ever got started. Um, but ever since I did put the HD fan clutch on here in the EFI Live, things are much better. So for the towing and truck guys, that's the mega hauler for you. <laughs> well, we're telling people what we're doing, so um, where we were supposed to go. Yeah, we were, uh, <laughs> we we're supposed to go to the Ivy Branch, test out the new buggy after getting it, and a complete revision of color and seat changes, had some fabrication work done and all kind of stuff, some shocks and everything, but everybody kind of fell apart. I had three other guys going with me, and they started dropping off like flies you know and, how I mean, trips go. admittedly the weather's not 100% I think it was God's way of maybe we were gonna bust the buggy up before we even started so we already had everything packed up ready to go so we could have just been like well we could stay at the campground but why do that when we've already gassed up everything so uh, we decided to go to one of our favorite places Probably one of my favorite places. Oh, it's definitely one of my favorite. Uh, the Good Evening Ranch. So the kids love it there. They like to feed the goats. Um, There's horses, ponds. It's beautiful. Um, the staff there is great. Um, yeah, I love the place. The only reason I wasn't going there originally is just you know I've been, I've been there a bunch, but I hadn't been there in this buggy, and then I hadn't been there since I got my camper uh, or anything. So this would be it would be good to catch up with staff there. Uh, this channel is not really going to be like a wheeling channel with a bunch of off-roading. I'll share some snippets and stuff. Yeah, we'll have snippets of our wheeling on there and stuff, and I'll try it. But it it takes the fun out of wheeling if I am trying to film everything and send somebody ahead to get the shot, get it from this angle. And, there's a lot of good channels out there that do that, you know, flex rocks and rollovers and we don't you know, have professional videographers or drones no. or anything. Just me. Sometimes yeah. my daughter. And we're I not just, very good. I just want to enjoy wheeling and this journey and we'll share as much as we can. But just up front, this is not gonna be a wheeling channel. I'll I'll show you the cool stuff. I can't figure out where I'm supposed to be looking. You gotta look here, because you look you look I don't see. This is how rookie we are. <laughs> it's weird. Okay, look there. Um, so we're going, we're on our way. We're at one of the stops that we like. I don't know what this place is.
when you get to Good Evening Ranch, you'll think, oh man, I'm in the wrong place. This looks like a horse ranch, because it is. Uh, fun fact, it actually used to be like an exotic, I'm not gonna say petting zoo. It was like a very wealthy person's uh, throw an animal, exotic around, animal, exotic animal. Some Tiger King stuff was going on mm -hmm. up here. <laughs> it was a, a dude that was a lot like Tiger King. It wasn't him, but tigers. <laughs> they had some of that stuff up here. Uh, so, you'll... anyways, yeah, it's a horse ranch deal, but. So you stop in here and check in at this office, which is also a bar and a restaurant. That's a hotel type deal over there. That's 18 rooms, and each one has its own shower, bathroom, and everything. That's really pretty It's inside. real nice. We'll give you a walk around. There's a... Uh, this is the lodge here. We said we'd give you a quick tour of it. 18 rooms, if I remember right. Well, it might be nine, it sleeps 18 people. Looking for Whatever is down here, it's more than double on the top. So there's the kitchen. Living room area, TV stuff there. So this is what the rooms all look like, basically. And they each have their own private bathroom, shower, closet, and uh, goes out to this deck right here. It's a good looking deck. There. Up top, rooms have balconies, satellite TV. There's trails all back through there. It's a pretty nasty climb that comes up right there. I ain't made it up. But that's the lodge. Um, you can rent the whole thing out with your crew of folks, or you know, if there's not a cabin available, they'll they'll usually let you rent just one room in here, like a hundred bucks a night kind of thing. <clears throat> uh, there's laundry in here, washer and dryer. The other cabins, like the single cabins are like 150 a night. And uh, some of the other ones, like the one I said that sleeps 12, is like 350 a night. Uh, more cabins up there. I will note that the campground does not have good cell service at all. When you're up on top here, you get good service. I was streaming internet all weekend, no problems. But uh, down in the campground is iffy. But this is the this is the ranch. There's a lot of big events coming up here next year. We Rock, X Rock, Southern Rock Racing Series, and um, Great American Crawl is coming out here. It's a great place. If you've been hearing about it and you've been thinking about coming out here, make the trip. You know, you could see it all pretty quick, but if you really wanted to make the most of your trip, you could hit Ivy Branch while you're out here too. It's only two hours away. Um, but this is a great place. Come check it out. Thanks, Deb. Okay, so we've been here one night. We have completely reset up our home to look exactly like it was, which is awesome. Yeah, the best part about traveling this way is I have home and everything with me and it just kind of always feels the same until you step outside. And what is, what are you doing today? Oh, well, I'm housewifing. <laughs> I'm, doing, I'm doing some dishes <laughs> since I don't have a job. I, uh, I handle a lot of this stuff. Oh. I, I, I don't mind and we, we split everything up. But, uh, we're getting ready to go ride in the buggy here in a little bit. I got some deer steaks I'm gonna throw on the grill for lunch. And uh, then we're gonna go test out the buggy for the first time after, well, the first time since buying it, since I've only taken it to Uwari and there was nothing to challenge it there. So the Good Evening Ranch here has a lot of good stuff to see what it's made of. So I'm excited to, to get out there and see what it's all about. 
So really, but true story, we all split the dishes between us and the kids and, and it's, you know, whatever. <laughs> it's, a, it's a catch 22. It's like, uh, I miss my dishwasher, but then I don't because like you, I used to let it pile up in the dishwasher and you know, it just doesn't force you to do the dishes right away, but now we can't let them pile up because this is literally our counter space. So we normally have to do dishes like once or twice a day, but I don't know. I like that it forces you to stay on top of things. And we like crock pot meal. We do, so we're fixing to put on a, a crock pot meal. I smoked a chicken on my pellet smoker the other day. Got it all shredded up. We're going to do some chicken and dumplings with a smoked chicken. Yep. Where's the drying thing 2000 that sits right here? It's supposed to be in there somewhere. This is real life right here. So in, in camper life, um, we have good storage, but you got to dig for it. So but this, oh, this is one of my favorite things that I got from the sign. Don't mind the mic stuff. Don't, yeah. We're, we're trying mm -hmm. to get you some better audio. And then we also have something for video editing. I have an Apple Mac now. So maybe the editing. Mm. <gasps> Don't good. break it. <laughs> Don't break it. There. So, see, a little dish drainer pops up, and then when you're Bam. done, Store it away. yep. I went on Amazon and searched out all kinds of things. And look, the refrigerator looks the same. It's junked up with a bunch of stuff, and and it's what refrigerators are supposed to be. I don't look at any of the other mess, but yeah. And then here's our amazing view. The ranch hooked us up since uh, nobody else is here and the water from the campgrounds cut off. So we're up here um, near the top with a hookup. And then there's our beautiful, beautiful buggy. It's a little chilly today, but look at this amazing view. I love this place. Can't describe how much I love it. You said you wanted to stop my video, so. Why do I always have to start the video? Uh, I don't know what you want to talk about. <laughs> We're going to talk about the ranch and the, the weekend. Ranch. Okay. So, we got here Thursday. Yep. We wheeled a little bit on Friday, and it was better, better weather then. And then Saturday it rained, like all day. So, we just well, hung out in the Friday camper. Friday night and all day Saturday. Yeah, so we just hung out in the camper. Um, and then, as you can see by my red nose, it's a cold snap today. So we bundled up and took the buggy back out because we decided to stay an extra day, which is the beauty of Full taking time. your house with you because you can decide to stay if you if they have a spot. Yeah. Um, what else do we want to say about the ranch? It's beautiful. Yeah, we'll show them this kit, the campground here. And, um, Campground, cabins, uh, they, as you can see, our kids hanging out in the back. Say hello. Hello! What do y'all like about the ranch? Um, playing on the rocks and, the, and, and riding my bike. Um, I really like the ranch because of the, the animals, but my favorite is the baby goats. You can feed the baby goats. Cute. The kid's favorite thing is to come up here. Is that a duck face? 
You can't just feed them anything. You can feed them grass, right? I feed them leaves. Leaves, yep. And they have horses, right? Yeah. But we just look at the horses. We don't ride the horses or anything. That one and then horse they, is crazy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then they have a playground, right? Mm -hmm. when, yeah, I know from experience you could destroy your junk, split the transfer case in half in the hardest trail here, which I have done. And you can walk back to camp in less than 10 minutes for a So, which is good for us because we break a lot of stuff all the time. Knock been, on wood, we I've haven't. i taking it real easy in this thing. Broke anything. Never well, even hit the rev limit. And, and he let me drive it, so that was. Uh, yep, you will see that. That was that interesting. In this video, either before this or after this, how yep. to ride it to that. that I can drive kind of sort of because we figured out that my legs are a lot longer than his and so my legs hit the steering wheel but you know whatever this is my first time having a full hydro I've always had hydro assist and um Elias please stop 
the full hydro double-ended ram with the hydro boost brakes is amazing but yeah so we'll show you the campground here and um and I don't know what else y'all wanted to, us to tell you about places we go. Um, oh, well, it's not far from town. So if you need to go to Walmart or they have like eating places, McDonald's, grocery stores. Yeah, there's a gas station just five minutes down the road. Yep. Then um, Summersville is 10 minutes away or so. And they got an Applebee's you can go get thrown out of or uh, a Harbor Freight. Um, there's a Polaris dealership for any side by side guys that are interested. Walmart, all the big stuff, you know, Advance Auto, hardware stores, things like that. It's all close by. Um, Bobby is like, he lives here. He's got a he's got a welder, full shop, everything. The owner Billy has um, he has an old Coal Works buggy equalizer. And now he's got a Jimmy Smith buggy, which I was hoping to get to see this weekend, but the weather kept him away. Amy's so, super nice. She's yeah. usually at the office or around somewhere. She will help you out with whatever you need. Um, I think they're just overall good people. So, I don't know. Yeah. You can have weddings here. Yeah. They we've have, seen several. <laughs> yeah. A couple of times we've been here, they have like a little, I don't know, I guess we could show them that, a little green in the middle of a pond yeah. that you can get married at they have a bar that yeah. could you could have your reception at or whatever yeah they got like a reception hall or the full you know yeah. kitchen and everything they have horse shows here so some of you some people who do horse shows might yeah you might come here. up here to go wheeling and you'll be driving past you know lariat f-450s and sundowner horse trailers and it's very versatile but i will say when they have weddings and I would imagine when they have horse shows, they do ask that, like, you don't, like, you just be polite about it. Like, we don't go by, you know, <laughs> revving yeah. our engines when they're having, like, a wedding time. Like, you Which, just have like, some common sense about yeah. stuff like that all the time, you know, respect people's places. Yeah, so that's the only thing about if they have a wedding, but, you know, you just, it's big enough where you can just stay away during that time period. Um, but that's all, was there anything, what else did they want to know about places we go? I think that's about it. You know, there's parks and food and stuff nearby. They have, uh, for the people who camp, they have water and electricity. They don't have, like, it. it's not full of hookups. There, they don't yeah, there's not a full hookup, but if you were like us and you were going to come up here and stay for an extended period, they have a pump truck that'll come around for like 25 bucks, you know, and, and they'll empty your tanks and stuff. Yeah. Which, we've so. just been here for four days, so we're not going to have to do that, but. We might come up here and stay for a month at some point in this journey because we just love it here. Yeah, that's about all I wanted to go over. Yeah, so we'll we'll show you the uh, the campground right here, and then we're gonna go ride another trail.
As you can see, it fits on the truck. Great. <laughs> Shout out to Rev Limit Fab for doing this headache rack. All of this, this tube work right here. Yeah, it just fits in there dead perfect. But, uh, since we cut off the stinger. Yeah, yeah, since I cut the stinger off, we had that redone. So, a couple people are probably wondering. I'll probably do another video on the whole buggy. I look like crap right now. I've been reeling. But it is uh, an LS2 Turbo 400 with a stack, three speed. 14 bolt, 60 solid keyed knuckles, constant arms. Give me the bulb. Yeah, if you just hear me speaking in Spanish. Aluminum lowers, Fox adjustable coilovers, 43 stickies. The normal stuff. Uh, but it's my first time actually wheeling it this weekend. And I'm real happy with it. And some people are always curious too, the ramps go in here. Okay, start over. So the ramps go in there. Oh, I guess you cut the video. I did, yeah. Yeah, a lot of people always wonder, like, why well, don't see no ramps? How do you get it on there? Well, the ramps go up in this handy compartment. And it's real easy to smash your finger. Might not want to show people this because they know how to get it off. And here's our home, just hanging out over there. Gonna pack it up tomorrow and roll out.